How's it going guys? LGS Prisco here. So before we get started with the video, I did want to make a quick announcement. So, um, I started streaming on Twitch. I've been doing a couple of test streams these past couple of days, and uh, they've been going fairly well. So, um, I want to invite all of my subscribers here on YouTube to uh, come and follow me on Twitch where I will be streaming um, mostly during the week. Weekends are kind of tough for me, but I'm going to be streaming uh, almost every day playing uh, on EDO Pro and I'm eventually going to be transferring over to Dueling Book once I get used to uh, Dueling Book's system and how it works. I'm so used to EDO Pro and having it just do everything for me um, that uh, e Dueling Book is a little bit different and I have to do everything manually. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and get right into the deck profile, but uh, the link to the Twitch is going to be down below in the description. Also, there's a link to my Discord down there as well, where um, you can come and we can talk about video games, and we can talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! in the competitive format, we can talk about casual decks, we can talk about deck building, I can give you my take, as well as uh, I'm trying to get some more people in there, more competitive guys that I personally know and that I'm personal, uh, for personally friends with, to come into the Discord so that we can have uh, help with the uh, deck building process. Um, and I'm talking about like some some really well-known guys but in the meantime guys let's go ahead and get right into the video okay what's going on youtube ltx prisco here coming at you with another time thief deck profile and um yeah i know this one is a lot different because it's pure uh pure time thief and um not to not to shit on the other list that i've been seeing out there but this is this is like pure pure i'm even playing with spells and traps and all that good stuff so um without too much uh wasting your time i do want to make uh one quick announcement i am going to be announcing the winner of this magi magi magician ocg card uh today at the end of this video um and just so you guys know that i did randomize it um there were uh, eight comments on the video, but they were only from six different people. Some people had commented twice. Doesn't enter you twice. Just saying. Um, but I took a D6 because there were six comments and six different entries, um, and I rolled. So um, I'll announce the winner at the end of the video. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, also, I've got a side deck for you guys. I know that's not something that I normally do. So uh, we are playing three Time Thief Regulator. Um, this is your rescue rabbit of the deck. Uh, you can tribute this and then uh, summon two time thief monsters from your deck with different names uh, in defense position other than himself, uh, which is really good. It's your best starter card in the deck. Next, we're playing three winder. Uh, this is your uh, extender slash searcher. It's a two card combo involving these two cards. So, you know, really good. Um, he can slash or summon himself from the hand by detaching from an Xyz monster you control. Um, and he, once he's summoned, you can, uh, whether it's normal or special summoned, you can search out any Time Thief card from your deck to your hand. So, other than himself. Next, we are playing two Chrono Quarter. Um, I find myself going into this a lot more than I go into Bezel Ship. Um, and I just, I really like it now. I didn't like it when it first came out, but I really like it now. Its effect reads that um, you contribute this card during your opponent's battle phase. And then the next battle damage that you would take, your opponent takes instead. Um, so it's really, really good. Uh, and then the other effect is if your Time Thief Xyz monster uh, leaves the field due to a card effect. So when Redo or Banishes himself. Um, and this is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card out. Uh, banish it when it leaves the field. So, still pretty good. Um, and then I decided to only play one uh, Bezel Ship. Uh, and the reason why is because um, opening up with this is, like, never optimal. Um, like, if I open up with this, like... It's okay, I guess, um, but I needed to make some cuts and make some room uh, for the other cards that I'm playing in the deck here, um, and putting him to one just, like, it felt like it was the only good uh, cut that I can make, because I wanted to keep a deck at uh, 40, so. Next, I'm playing the one Armageddon Knight and the one Silent Boots. Armageddon Knight is uh, the other best starter uh, besides... Um, regulator. Regu uh, the Armageddon Knight can send boots to grave and then you can banish boots to search out your Shade Brigadine. And, uh, so it's a one card tr uh, trap redoer, which is really powerful. 
Next, the new card we are playing is Parallel Exceed. I got my, uh, I actually bought seven boxes of uh, Eternity Code. I pulled, I pulled some fire, I'm just saying. I pulled some, some real fire. But I didn't record the openings. Um, I was supposed to do a, a box break with uh, my buddy, but um, we got the set a week early than we were expecting, and I wasn't going to sit on it for a week waiting to open it. So, um, yeah, uh, I got too excited. I pulled, like, I think uh, 13 play sets of Parallel Exceed in total. So, hey, if you want your play sets of Parallel Exceed, uh, literally just buy a box. You probably get two or three of them out of one box. Really broken card. Did not deserve to be common. Uh, so that's it for the uh, monsters. For the hand traps, we are playing three GD Crow. It's pretty self-explanatory there. And then I'm playing the three Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Um, no explanation needed. For the spells, I am playing three Time Thief Startup. So for those of you that don't know what this card does, uh, Time Thief Startup is a quick play spell card that can special summon a Time Thief monster from your hand. Um, I like to use it in conjunction with uh, Bezel Ships sometimes if I have him in my hand, or I'll use it in conjunction with Chrono Quarter. Uh, sometimes if I don't open up that well, then I'll just normal summon Winder, search this out, and then use it to get another level 4 on field uh, so that I can go into my Redoer. Uh, but it also has a really, really broken graveyard effect. So you can uh, banish this card from your graveyard. And then attach three materials to a Time Thief XC's monster you control, um, one of each type from your graveyard. So monster, spell, and trap, and they have to be Time Thief cards. All right. So this is in Spanish, so I'm not going to read it off word for word. But pretty much, you attach three Time Thief cards from your graveyard to a Time Thief that you control, um, one spell, one trap, and one monster. So really broken, uh, especially in conjunction with the next card. Uh, time Thief Hack. So, when this card is faced upon the field, uh, Time Thief or XC's monsters cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects the turn that they are summoned. Um, also, you can target a redoer. Uh, sorry, you can target one XC's monster that you control, and it gains attack, uh, gains 300 attack um, times the amount of materials that it has under it. Um, also, if it has material that is owned by your opponent you can uh, uh that monster can attack your opponent directly so this plus this you can you, you see how it can make him make redoer really strong um in conjunction with the traps as well and redoer's own effect to steal cards from your opponent's deck um yeah you you can uh make redoer pretty beefy for your own turns um for the rest of the spells i'm playing three called by the grave uh pretty self-explanatory we want our regulator and our winders to resolve um, also, we need to protect our Redoer because uh, an Ash can stop him from using his quick effect, which really sucks. Um, next, we are playing two Cosmic Cyclone. Um, this is more so just a medical. I would be playing three, but again, I need to make a lot of space, so I'm trying to keep the deck at 40 cards. Uh, Cosmic Cyclone is really good against like Eldritch and um, any uh, back row reliant deck. This can uh, be your out to Mystic Mind, which kind of hurts sometimes. So, yeah. Uh, and then we are playing two Pot of Desires and one Upstart Goblin. Um, I like playing two and one uh, rather than three of these uh, because if I, you know, if I banish this, then it's not a card that I'm going to miss, right? But then if I open this and then draw into this, then cool. If I activate this and draw into this, cool. Like, I don't care. I'm just thinning the deck out more and getting to cards that I actually want to see. All right, so in this deck, I feel like this is just correct. Um, for the traps, I am playing two flyback, one retrograde. Um, flyback uh, at two, I feel like is you know just the right ratio, and we we'll, we're going to be searching out retrograde most of the time anyway. So I feel like playing one uh, is perfect. Uh, you don't play two because uh, you'll end up bricking on it more than you would want to if you happen to play more than one. And then for the rest of the traps, I'm playing Three Shade Brigadine, which is the best monster, best extender, uh, best card in the deck because um, this is a level four, which can make your redoer uh, just a lot better. And then I'm playing the one 
Phantom Knight's Fogblade uh, for the reason being that uh, we are playing the Armageddon Knight and Silent Boots package. If we happen to open up Armageddon Knight with uh, Shade Brigadine, then we could just send Boots and then search out Fogblade and now we have another form of disruption for our opponent's turn. Uh, so that is it for the main deck. For the extra deck, we are playing two Time Thief Redoer. I know normally I play three, um, and I'm pretty sure in one of my other profiles I've said uh, that playing less than three is just incorrect, but again, I had to make some space to include some new cards in here. Um, so playing two, I feel like it's fine because you're gonna be able to recur anything. And if a Redoer ends up in Graveyard, you're gonna be able to bring it back with Perpetua anyway. And then speaking of Perpetua, we are playing two of her. Um, again, this one you really just don't need three of. Uh, I would even like I would even say that playing one is fine, um, but I like playing two because if you lose it, then you're gonna lose the game. So you need to have uh, an extra just in case. Um, and then for some tech cards, I am playing the one tornado, one dweller. This is pretty standard in any rank four deck. Um, I'm playing Duke Garris to help with OTKs as well as drawing uh, deeper into the deck. Um, and that's pretty much it for all of the XC's monsters. For the Lynx, I am playing one Salomon Great Amirage, one Gravity Controller. Um, that's pretty much it for the Link 1s. These are. Uh, this card pretty much takes your hand traps and makes them playable. Uh, with Parallel Exceed, um, and then this card can uh, help you combo off with certain hands and uh, build a pretty decent board, um, but it's it's entirely cuttable if need be. Um, for my Link 2s, I'm playing one Bujinki Ahashima and one IP Mascarena. You know, as much as I have shit-talked this card a lot, and as much as I really don't like it, I find myself going into it quite a bit because its effect is pretty useful. Um, when, so when you link summon this card, you can uh, summon one uh, monster from your hand and one monster from your graveyard that both have the same level. Most of the time you're just going to use it to make another rank 4, um, but then uh, you combine this with like uh, Parallel Exceed, and um, with the right opening hand you can end on this with three uh, Exceed monsters, three rank 4s, so it's pretty good. The only downside is that I can't use this with IP Mascarena in order to link climb higher. Um, but speaking of IP Mascarena, I'm playing two link threes, my IP Mascarena targets. Um, so Nightmare Unicorn for the spin back and Tropologic Shizbania. Uh, the reason why I like this is because against like the back row decks and like the uh, like Eldritch and um, Altergeist and stuff like that, is you can use this and IP Masquerade, or you can use IP Masquerade to go into this into your opponent's turn, and then like use Redoer's effect to bounce itself while you have Chrono Quarter in Graveyard, and then summon Chrono Quarter to either one of these two zones, and then you'll be triggering Trisbania, um, Tr Trisbania's effect to pop all the back row on the field, which is still really good. Um, and then I am playing two Link Fours, one Appaloosa Bow of the Goddess, and the newest card access code talker this card is just absolutely broken and um this this card in this deck with uh just the amount of links that i'm playing um is actually really powerful uh because i'm playing uh dark uh fire a light and a wind so you know if it gets down to that point i have uh let's see one two, three, four pops that my opponent cannot respond to. So that's why I really like it. Um, and that's it for the extra deck. So for the side deck, I am playing three Ghost Mortar and Moonlit Chill, the new hand trap out of Eternity Code. And let me tell you, this card right here is just, it's so good. It's like Effect Veiler. Um, it, it's, okay, it's pretty much another Effect Veiler, right? Um, but it's, uh, its conditions are a little bit different. And I, I kind of like it because I can actually use it on my turn. Um, so for those of you who don't know what it does, 
If your opponent special summons a monster face up, except during the damage step, during the damage step, you can discard this card, then target one of those face up monsters and negate its effects until the end of this turn. Also, if that face up monster leaves the field this turn, its controller takes damage equal to its original attack. You can only use this effect of Ghost Mortar and Moonlit Chill once per turn. So, this card right here against like uh, Eldritch, um, against like Adam Emancipator Synchro. Um, against just a lot of different decks in general is just really powerful um, because it negates and then it causes your opponent to burn if they extend with that monster that was negated in general so it's really strong next I'm playing three Nibiru this is pretty standard um, I really like it uh, even though it's like bad against uh, Adam Emancipator it's still really strong against like Eldritch and uh, a lot of the other combo decks that are out there uh, for the spells, I'm playing three Dark Ruler No More and two Twin Twisters. Um, I only decided to play two because I'm playing uh, Cosmic Cyclone in the main. Uh, so this is just for that extra back removal when I'm going against those decks. Uh, for traps, I'm playing three evenly matched and then I'm playing one Red Reboot. Um, I was debating on whether to make this the third Cosmic Cyclone or like a Panko Tops for Mind Control, but Red Reboot is just... I feel like this is just too strong of a card to not play, uh, especially in a trap heavy format. So that's it for the deck profile. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I was going to do a combo video, but I'm already at like almost 15 minutes, I think. So um, I want to just kind of use this extra time that I have to go over the winner of the uh, Magi Magi OCG Girl. So. All right, uh, can I get a drum roll? Boom, Glover, you are the winner. So just so we all know, all right, I did this and it landed on a five. It landed on a five. <laughs> this is exactly what happened. It landed on a five as I was going from, uh, from the, I think it was bottom to top right looking at all the comments right and the fifth one from the bottom up was going to be the winner and that just happened to be glover so uh glover if you're watching this video you are the winner and um i will be contacting you soon so that you can receive your prize i hope you enjoy it um in the meantime guys twitch tv dot, uh, dot twitch tv slash prisco in the discord down below also my friend's discord is down there or not discord but my friend's twitch is down there so please go give her a follow as well uh she could really use some more followers and so can i and um yeah hope you guys enjoyed it peace